in this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's add a delete button over here to every single to do item which we have. So in order to add the button, let's go back to VS Code. Let's go inside the to do item itself. And over here, what we could do is right after this item, which we have, we could create a span tag. So I'll create a span here. And inside the span, I could have a button tag, which is going to be an HTML tag. And for now, let's say the delete button has this X sign right there, which means to delete. So as you can see, this is what the button currently looks like. So this is all fine and good, but now you'll be able to see that uh, this button is not in line with this. So in order to set it in line, you could either make this particular div as flex, but another thing which you could do is you could take this span tag and kind of place it inside this div. So if you do that, now, as you can see, you have this particular delete button align right next to this particular to do item which you have. Now we want to have the delete button over here, but there needs to be some space here. So let's say I want to align it to the extreme right over here. So that means we now need to add a styling to this delete button as well. So over here, I would simply say, all right, I want the class name for this one as styles dot that's going to be delete button. Let's now define that particular styling here. So I could say dot delete button. And over here, the first and foremost thing which we will do is we'll make this thing float to the right. So I would set the float of this one to right. And as soon as I do that, now as you can see, the delete button is kind of pushed to the right. And that's exactly what we want. And also let's say instead of this capital X, let's have a small letter X that looks more appropriate. And now let's make this button look like this button, which we have up over here. So in order to do this, I have to simply add a couple of classes here. So first of all, I'll add some padding here. So let's say the padding is going to be 12 pixels and 20 pixels. This will give it a little bit of padding. Now let's remove the borders from here. So I could say the border which I want on these buttons should be none. If I do that, now the border is gone. Let's set the color of this one. So let's say the background color for this one is going to be hash F seven C A 18, which is this yellow color, which we have already used for the button above. And let's set the text color to white. So color as white. All right. So this is what the button looks like. Let's also go ahead and let's say we want to shift the button to a little bit to the top because right now the text and the button do not look aligned at all. Therefore, I would say that I want the margin on the top to be minus five pixels. So that will actually shift the button up. So as you can see, now these things look aligned. Now let's also set the border radius as well to give it rounded corners. So I could say border radius is going to be four pixels. Now, as you can see, the button looks more appropriate. Now, the final thing which we need to do is that whenever we hover on this particular button, the cursor should change to a pointer. So over here, I could say the cursor should be pointer. And now, as you can see, when I hover over this, now this becomes a pointer. All right. So that means now the delete button has been created. Now, the next thing which we want to do here is that whenever I click on these buttons, the to do item which we have up over here should be deleted. So let's design this delete functionality in the next lecture.